What is a gish piercing? The gish, or perineum, piercing is done through the perineum, a small patch of skin between the genitals and anus. Share on Pinterest this piercing is a little more on the extreme side, so it's not particularly common. It's done by people of all genders, but it tends to be more commonly done by people with penises. Let's get into how it's done, what to expect from the procedure, and how to take care of it. Gish or perineum piercing procedure To do this piercing, your piercer will disinfect the area with clean water and a surgical grade scrub. Mark the area where you want to insert your piercing with a non-toxic marker or pen. Pierce a sterile needle through the area in one side of the marking and out the other. Your piercer will suggest taking a deep breath when the needle goes in and exhaling slowly when the needle comes out to reduce pain or discomfort. Insert the jewelry you've chosen into the new piercing. Stop bleeding that may have occurred. Disinfect the area again to make sure the area is fully sterilized. Gish piercing pain Pain tolerance varies from person to person. Some may find it painful, while others have reported enjoying the sensation. Not everyone who gets the same piercing will experience the same amount of pain or discomfort. Whether you do a vertical or horizontal gish piercing can make a difference, too as can wear. On your perineum you get the piercing, closer to your genitals versus closer to your anus. How much does it cost? Piercing costs can vary by shop and by type of jewelry. Most shops charge a fee for the procedure, too. You can expect to pay anywhere from $30, plus the cost of jewelry, up to about $120, Plus jewelry, most reputable shops with experienced piercers will charge $100 or more. Gish piercing benefits There aren't any reported health benefits for gish piercings, but this piercing can provide some additional sensation that may result in sexual enjoyment. Just the appearance of a gish piercing can be sexually arousing to some. Gently pulling, tugging, or playing with the piercing may stimulate genital and anal nerves. And many people with gish piercings report more intense orgasms when playing with their gish piercing right before they orgasm. Potential side effects Here are some potential side effects of a gish piercing. You might experience an allergic reaction to certain jewelry materials, such as nickel. Try to use surgical titanium or at least 14 karat gold. If the jewelry gets caught on something, it can tear out of the piercing. If you don't follow proper care instructions or if the piercer doesn't use clean tools, an infection can happen. If the jewelry is too small, embedding of the jewelry can happen. This is when skin grows over the jewelry. You might experience migration and rejection, where your piercing moves away from where it was done or your body pushes the jewelry out of the skin entirely. If the piercing injures nerve endings or it isn't done properly, nerve damage can occur. Precautions Here are some considerations to keep in mind before you decide to get a gish piercing. If you do a lot of activities that require sitting, like horseback riding or bicycling, a gish piercing might be too uncomfortable for you, especially during the healing process. If you've gotten piercings that your body has rejected, it's more likely that your body will reject this one, too, as the perineum is a highly sensitive area. Make sure your piercer has proven experience preferably in genital or anal piercings. And make sure you're comfortable showing them your genital and anal area. Bathe or shower before you get pierced to reduce the chance that fecal or genital bacteria will infect the piercing. Avoid this piercing if you have a history of keloid scars. Gish piercing aftercare Most gish piercings take about 3 to 6 months to fully heal depending on how well you take care of the piercing. Here are some do's and don'ts for gish piercing aftercare. 
don't have sex for a few days after the piercing, wait until initial swelling, crusting, or discomfort has gone away. Do remove any bandages after about 5 hours. There may be some coagulated blood, but this is normal and will wash off easily. Do shower after taking off the bandage or soak the area with clean, warm water for about 5 minutes. Don't use any soaps or cleaning solutions for at least a day after your piercing. Do clean the piercing with a gentle, unscented soap only once a day after the first day. Do lather up some cleaning solution in your hands and apply it to the piercing. Leave the solution there for a minute, then gently rinse off the area. Do gently remove any crusty substances when you clean the piercing. Do soak the piercing in warm salt water or saline solution, and dab dry with a clean towel at least once a day. Don't rub the area dry. Gently pat dry the area to avoid scraping or injuring sensitive tissue. Do wash the piercing immediately after you sweat from exercise or from heat. To clean the piercing after swimming in the ocean or a chlorinated pool with saline or cleaning solution. Don't be too rough with the jewelry for at least a month. Don't use lotions, powders, or creams on the area. Gish Piercing Jewelry Most piercers will offer tons of choices. Curved piercings are best because they'll move more comfortably in this tight area. Here are some of the most popular options. Circular barbell, horseshoe shaped with removable ball shaped beads at either end, captive bead ring, ring with ball shaped bead in the middle where two sides of the ring snap into place, curved barbell, somewhat curved bar piercing with ball shaped beads on either end. Take away the gish piercing is a unique, exciting piercing that can enhance your visual or sexual sensations when you look at it or play with it alone or with a partner, but be selective about who pierces it, and take good care of it to prevent any pain, infection, or long term damage to the area.